friends welcome back to devops hint in this video we are going to learn how to integrate sonar cube with java maven project using hello friends welcome back to devops hint in this video we are going to learn how to integrate sonar cube with java maven project using gitlab ci so firstly you can see here uh, this is my sonar cube dashboard and now we are going to integrate sonar cube with java maven project using gitlab ci so here you can see my project with the name sonar cube and my pro repository i have few files src readme.md and pom.xml and here i'm using droplet of digital ocean and now here i am using mobile stream to connect my ubuntu terminal and now we are going to integrate sonar cube with java maven project using gitlab ci so first of all we need to install maven uh, maven and java on our ubuntu so first of all you can see here this is my article so in my description box i will give this link so you can check my description box so now firstly we are going to install firstly we are going to update the system package then install maven so copy the command So I can say yes. Now clear the screen. And the next is you can check Maven version. Okay, now clear the screen. And now, the, uh, if you want to remove Maven, then you can use this command. Then, now install Java. So first of all, you need to update your system package. Yeah, it's done. Then we are going to install OpenJDK 11 or on our Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So yes, it's done. So let's check the version of our Java. So firstly, clear the screen and run the command Java hyphen hyphen version. So you can see here the version 11.0.13. Now clear the screen. And the next is now downloading latest Apache Maven. For that, firstly, you need to insert that uh, TMP directory. Then for a download, you can use this uh, link. Now we need to extract this file. For that, we need to. For that, we are going to use this command user using tar. Okay, now the next is for creating link. So we are going to use this command. Okay, now the next is 
set up apache maven environment variables so for that firstly we need to run this command and then in this we need to add these lines in this particular directory to set environment now save the file and exit now you need to give this permission to this particular directory then second for load the environment variable using source command and now let's uh, check the version of our maven So you can see here. So clear the screen and let's check the next step. Now it's done. Now the next step is we need to uh, install GitLab Runner. So you can go to the official page of GitLab Runner. Here you can see this is the official page of GitLab Runner. So for now, we are going to install GitLab Runner. So you can see the command for Ubuntu. Firstly, we need to add the official GitLab repository. So copy the command. So it's done. Now install latest version of GitLab Runner. Now it's done. Now clear the screen. And now the next step is we need to register GitLab runner. So for that, you can see a register runner. So click on register runner. And here, if you scroll down for Linux, you can use this command to register GitLab runner. Now it will ask enter the GitLab instance URL for example like this. So firstly, you need to go to your repository, then settings, then CICD. And here, you can see a runner, so click on expand. And here, you can see other URL. So copy the URL and paste it. Then registration token. Now enter a description for the runner. So here, my runner. Then tags, DevOps. So here I will choose shell. So let's check our register successfully, sorry, our runner register successfully or not. So you can see my runner. 
So sometimes they give us error. So the solution is click on edit and check indicates whether this runner can pick jobs without tags, then save changes. So now it's done. So the next step is now we are going to run our pipeline. So firstly, we are going to create our pipeline. So click on repository, then files. Then click on this plus icon, then new file. dot gitlab dot yml and here we need to add this code firstly before we are going to create a uh, our gitlab pipeline we need to add some variables here so for that For that, firstly, you need to go to settings, then CI CD, then here you can see your variables. So click on expand, and here you need to add three variables. So the first variable is sonar URL. So here you need to Add these three variables. So the first variable is sonar URL. So here you need to copy your URL and paste here. Remove this protect variable flag and click on add variable. Then second variable is your sonar login. That means your username. And then the third variable is sonar password. Then remove protect variable flag and then add variable. Okay, now it's done. Now we are going to uh, run our pipeline. So for that, copy this pipeline. And paste here. And here you can see we have two stage here, stages here. Firstly, build and then test. See here in build, we have script that Maven package in artifacts, the path, then the second uh, job you can see here, if you add only, so only main, that means uh, that the pipeline run for only main branch. If you don't want, then you can remove it. And now we have already installed Maven on our Ubuntu instance. So you can remove this also. And now you can see in script Maven verify sonar sonar. So here the host URL sonar URL in sonar URL your URL we have added in our variable, then sonar login and then sonar password. Now commit changes. Now let's check the pipeline. So you can see here our first job build is running. So it's pass. Let's check the second job.
you can see a sonar master job is also running So you can see a job succeed. So let's check. So firstly, go to your Sonar uh, Cube uh, dashboard and here click on projects. So here you can see last analysis 30 seconds ago. So here you can see our project. So in this video, we have learned how to integrate Sonar Cube with Java Maven project using GitLab CI. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps in channel.